thank you for for the invitation, Shivon. Thank you for this organization. I think is a, a really good um, moment for sharing what has been done in Run Run E Plus. Um, this is also something that we have been. Uh, uh, and this presentation that we have been working from the beginning and trying to reach out. Uh, now I think we have some of re, re, some of the conditions to put this on on place. Uh, I will talk a little bit uh, about uh, the IPC RND system. Then I'm going to move to uh, an example of a PhD program with medical company, uh, and then uh, I will show you uh, what uh, is in this moment in in the line uh, between IPC and TUS uh, for a joint uh, PhD program. So. Uh, IPCA, IPCA is um, IPCA is a, a well uh, is well defined in the region of Cavernav, that is in the north of Portugal, is a uh, um, uh, and strong uh, business productive sector in the in the field. Uh, we have a lot of connections with companies, uh, <clears throat> promotion projects, in internships, in the courses that are running in the companies uh, and we are have a campus that is in Barcelos, the main campus and we are spread now for more five cities of of this region um this um, connection to 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 this uh, industrial ec ecosystem but also to the municipalities of the region allows us to grow exponentially in the last uh, years and in that sense uh, we have been capacitated uh, the, the institution with uh, new facilities uh, that will allow us to uh, develop uh, eye research uh, with the, also with the companies. That is the main focus, of course, of the, the things that we develop over here, to, to have a possibility to transfer uh, the knowledge that we generate in the institution to the companies and have the companies to work directly with us. Uh, right now, we have three research units, one dedicated to design, another one to accounting and uh, taxation, and another one dedicated to artificial intelligence. Um, uh, these uh, two research units uh, also uh, has connections with other uh, entities, typically uh, associated laboratories uh, and also uh, digital innovation hubs. And uh, we have uh, uh, another structure uh, that combines uh, the research that we uh, perform also uh, with uh, the, the companies, that is a valorization and innovation center that, uh, that we develop. We also have different uh, um, colleagues and researchers that are not uh, connected to these three research units, but they are uh, connected to other research units spread for all uh, different research units in Portugal. Um, this growing, especially of the artificial intelligence laboratory that I coordinated, uh, has been allows us to create some possibilities. And one of that possibilities is this connection with LAZI, that is uh, uh, an intelligence system associated laboratory that combines the main Portuguese uh, research units uh, that are working on artificial intelligence and intelligence systems. Uh, and we are uh, developing uh, strategies to work together uh, in five, five main uh, thematic lines, innovative and sustainable, um, smart cities, in, uh, infrastructure tours, health and well-being and public administration. Uh, we also have uh, a connection and uh, with a, a project that just start uh, this year uh, that is a track uh, digital innovation hub for artificial intelligence and also high performance computing. Uh, also with a strong focus uh, with the industry that will potentiate the creation of projects with companies where they could test uh, initial ideas or proof of concept ideas with uh, uh, different research units spread for all the Portuguese landscape uh, of the research units that works on these fields. Uh, but regarding uh, now and being more focused on the on the uh, on the artificial intelligence laboratory, um, we have a, a research unit over here that combines uh, different types of researchers from different fields. Um, that combines uh, robotics, uh, design, um, cognitive systems, uh, and what we try to develop in our system is augmented. Uh, the knowledge uh, that is uh, available for uh, the, the people. Um, that knowledge could be augmented through uh, uh, just 
for virtual systems, but also systems that combine uh, physical systems with virtual um, uh, systems. We are organized uh, in uh, three main uh, research areas, intelligent systems, human AI collaboration and robotics that we apply to health, industry, environment and security. Uh, I will talk about uh, essentially this uh, field of application health that is the the main field that i'm working on as researcher um in this field uh we uh, try to uh, improve the medical diagnosis uh, using different types of modalities uh, we also try to enhance the smart surgical rooms uh, that combines uh, uh, robots image modalities tracking systems uh, we are also working on uh, ways to better co correlate the illness with the patient evolution and also, uh, and because we believe on that, uh, in the uh, pipelines that uh, uses uh, the patient as a central element and development of personalized services for, for medicine. And based on this knowledge that we develop uh, from different years, uh, we have the opportunity to, uh, to, uh, to develop a system um, and this system, it was developed in partnership with the School of Medicine of the University of Minho. Um, we work especially in applied research. In that sense, we look at the problem, in this case, the problem of a physician uh, in the, a certain pathology that is kidney stones. Uh, they are facing a, a problem that is typically the navigation system to, to drive a needle uh, until the, the kidney. Uh, typically, they use X-ray uh, to uh, to guide uh, these uh, type of uh, interventions that provides radiation for uh, the the physician, but also uh, this also provides the radiation for for the patient, uh, um, and is a really really tricky process because typically the X-ray machine provides a 2D information of uh, of the organ, and uh, we need to navigate the needle in a 3D environment. Uh, in that sense, uh, we develop a system um, based in electromagnetic sensors, microelectromagnetic sensors that is able uh, to track in real time the position of the tip of the needle, but also uh, the, the position of the kidney. Uh, and for that, we apply a sensor through a retorenoscope that goes to the retra until it reaches the, the, the kidney uh, that is able to provide information of the location of the, the kidney inside the patient. This works like a GPS that is uh, established inside the body and we can transmit that information for an interface. And then we develop uh, this interface um, that you can see here in the, in the, in the image. Uh, that is like a target where the physician should uh, should use to orientate the needle before he perforates the, the patient. And after he reaches a good orientation, he can start perforation while he's keeping the orientation. Uh, the results were really impressive. Uh, we're able to, uh, to uh, move from laboratory to animal tests and also for uh, patients using this, this system, uh, we patent this, this solution. And uh, in one of the World, uh, world Congress of the Speciality, uh, one medical company approaches us and uh, it bought us the, 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 the technology. Based on that, we um, were able to uh, uh, define with them uh, some, uh, some interesting things. One of them uh, is uh, the creation of R&D projects with them. Uh, and. Uh, that uh, R&D project that we uh, develop is a R&D project that is in collaboration, in this case, with the University of Minho. Um, this pr project has, uh, has partners, the IPCA, University of Minho, and this medical company uh, that I cannot say the, the name, for, sorry for that. And um, in this, uh, in this, uh, in this sense, uh, this this project uh, allows us to develop a PhD in medical technology. Uh, this PhD uh, comprises the first year where the the the, the PhD students has uh, different laboratory rotations and also uh, some classes that allows us to to uh, to get inside of a research scope, uh, we are able to uh, hire six PhD students with this project that is totally financed by this medical company. Um, we uh, also uh, establish uh, 
periodic meetings with this company uh, where the PhD students present the evolution results. Uh, we work in a partnership and typically we have a supervisor from uh, IPCA, another one from the School of Medicine and another one from the, the company. Uh, and uh, this has been really great because uh, we are tackle uh, some problems that they are facing uh, and we can test this directly in the in the in the real world in the real scenario and also having the, the insights of the physicians as well as also, also to uh, to get uh, the better the better way to 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 move in the right direction in the development of this type of technologies so inspired by this and of course uh, inspired by uh, by the getting know all of the colleagues that uh, we know in the in the in the run uh, and this opportunity to spread also our network and try to create new and stronger uh, um, bridges between the, the institutions uh, we start to discuss uh, with the tools uh, the possibility of create some uh, joint programs uh, also related with the fields that we are working on uh, and uh, uh, of course there there was a, a limitation uh, and the limitation the main limitation is for sort of the budget uh, uh, and in that sense uh, we tried to get uh, during the first years ways to get the budget to try to start this collaboration effectively so uh, in that sense, uh, we uh, look at the, the, the pipeline that has been promoted in RunAU Plus for the creation of structured PhDs that could be developed in a collaboration between different partners of Run RunAU. Uh, that uh, has some guidelines that we should follow for sure, the regional smart specialization strategy to be in line on this, promote academia and um, business cooperation. Uh, also, <clears throat> Uh, promote and potential research and innovation and that should be developed in conjunction with business and industry collaborators uh, also uh, should be in line with the, the uh, research areas and also the innovation hubs that has been defined uh, in run run EU um, and for sure uh, as the, have the possibility to have co-supervision from the different uh, institutions in that sense, uh, we apply for uh, in, in Portuguese in Portugal. We have the opportunity to apply for different sources of fund. Uh, some of them has been successful, achieved. Uh, we get two different sources of funds. One is from Portuguese Foundation for Science and Technology, where we secure uh, eleven grants uh, for scholarships, international PhD scholarships, and another one that is from Portuguese. Uh, a plan for resilience and uh, um, that uh, came out after the COVID pandemic. Uh, this plan uh, established that the companies uh, should develop new strategies from R&D also with the, the, the national and international partners. Uh, in that sense, we also secured 11 uh, PhD grants. Um, and uh, we are now able to, uh, to, to define a set of PhD programs that are aligned uh, with um, with uh, running EU innovation of in this case for the future and sustainable industries and also the the some of the running EU research areas as uh, design material material thinking cybersecurity smart and sustainable and advanced manufacturing climatic changes and also health and well-being and we define uh, this. Uh, six uh, uh, fields uh, where the grants could fit um, and uh, we have uh, 11 grants that uh, where the topic has been already set uh, with the companies and these will be grants that has been that is going to be developed and programs that will be developed with companies we are talking about medical companies but also uh, industrial uh, um, companies uh, that works for instance in uh, cycling and another ones that work in the uh, automobile sector uh, and we have another 11 grants uh, that we are going to start to develop uh, a set of meetings with colleagues from TUS to define uh, some uh, R&D projects for these for these students so in that sense, we try also to look at uh, what has been designed in the RUNAU Plus as a structure for a possible uh, PhD program and also, of course, the, 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 the TUS um, structure because uh, 
uh, in, in Portugal, the polytechnical institutions are not, uh, uh, in this moment, are not able to provide the PhD degree. So we need to, to find a partner uh, and try to see how we can combine, combine our efforts. And we try to, to we are the thinking in a, in the in structure that is similar to this that you are seeing in this in this board over here, uh, where uh, we are going to leave some possibility and flexibility for 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 the students, and we are moving and putting here some of the things and the good things that run has been accomplished in the last in the last uh, last two years, especially the short advanced programs. So, so the students sure will have uh, to to create a literature review, a thesis plan, uh, but we also uh, uh, will open the possibility to uh, uh, valorize the participation in international conference, also the publications in international journals, also um, internships, and because this uh, is in collaboration with companies, internships, uh, of course, in the topic of their PhDs in the companies and also some laboratory rotations in the different running you partners uh, to, uh, for instance, to get access to one of the facilities that is uh, unique in one of these of, of the partners of Runiu. <coughs> so right now, this is what it is in the, the pipeline um, is, uh, is uh, we expect to, to, to start uh, this process in the beginning of the next year. We are uh, ready to prepare and prepare to launch the, the, the calls for, for the grants for the students, for their apply to these, to these uh, uh, programs. Uh, and then uh, we expect then until Mars to start these, uh, these programs in, in collaboration with, with the TUS. So uh, thank you, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions. I'm ready to answer. Okay, Zhao, thank you very much. And on behalf of TUS, I would like to thank you for.